Me and my, me and my hectic life It's just me and my, me and my hectic life Started a stage for Kanye West, tried to snap a picture Hmm? Yeah Yay uh, wasn't allowed to snap a picture. Security were not were not all right with me taking a photo of him. Yep. I think he's a bit shy, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. He's a um, he's an interesting character. I mean, are you have you been a fan of Kanye's music for? He's good. He's pretty good. Yeah, he's pretty good. Where would you rank him if you had to give me all right top three top three favorite artists of all time? Uh, is that including? Uh, myself Top three. in the anyway. equation. Uh, no one's ever asked that. No, no, no one's ever, I, would, I wouldn't ask that. It's, it's a silly question. We want to keep it fair for everyone. Do you Obviously, know what I mean? So it's just, yeah. I mean, uh, it's, a, it's subjective, so it's your opinion. So, I mean... I'd have to... I'd have to... Yeah. Where do we go, number one? First rapper I ever saw was uh, Snoop Dogg. Snoop? Snoop Dogg at the MLE. He, he's always been me. He's always been my man. Yep. Snoop Dogg. Yep. Tall... Tall skinny fella. I was a tall skinny fella growing up. So you got to look up to someone like that, you know what I mean? Yep. Uh, someone that, you know, skinny can accomplish so much. Um, yeah. It's, yep. uh, it's, it's, it's a very special thing, I think. He's, yeah. He's probably, he's probably the, the skinniest, the, the, the skinniest to most popular ratio. If you, if you went off rappers, he's probably number one, wouldn't you say? He's, because he's very he's he's skinnier than everyone else. Um, no disrespect, obviously. No disrespect to Snoop Dogg. Yeah, but he's very no, skinny. It's, um, and he, he's popular. He is, it's not he's skinny and he's popular. Yeah, I mean it fits both of those things that you're. I hadn't really. Um, I'd never really considered that. Before, Maybe it's something you should consider. And um, so he's number one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So number two, number two and three. You know, I really liked Coolio growing up. Okay. Yep. Yep. Pretty wacky hairstyle. And I mean, who's got a, who's had a wackier hairstyle than, than Coolio? I mean you gotta you gotta really give um give him his credit there. Yeah. yeah. Was that was wacky that your main hairstyle. reason for um for liking Initially. Coolio? Yeah. Okay. Initially. Yep. The hairstyle. Uh but also some catchy catchy songs. Yep. Yeah. Any any personal favourites? Gangsters Paradise was up there. Yep. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah. Had that one on cassette. Yeah. Yeah. Still got it on cassette to this day. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Gotta to, gotta to get up to get down. <laughs> I live by that motto. That's I mean that's everything, isn't it? Whoa. Well, yeah. Yeah, I mean it's again, hadn't really taken it to that, that level of uh context before. No, well, you wouldn't, would you? Considering um so, okay, so number, number three. three. Yeah, let's round it out. I'd have to go my main man, Suff, from the Hilltop Hoods. Bit of a change of direction Local. there, isn't it? Okay, cool, yeah, yeah, awesome. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Actually uh, worked alongside the Hoods. Wow. Uh, back in my, my live sound days. Big day out on the main stage. Wow. I did, I, uh, I did help, help them set up. Wow, that's pretty... Help them set up their gear, which was not my job, but I do like to go the extra mile. Yep. Especially for my top three. Yeah. I'd do yeah. it for Coolia. I'd do it for Snoop. Snoop would need a lot more help. He's very skinny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But very popular. He is. I've yeah. heard, anyway. Mm. Um. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it did set up for Debris and set up his decks. Yeah. Uh, didn't really know how to set up decks, but I was there. And um, I was there for him when he needed me. Yeah. And, um, and I think he really appreciated that. He, uh, he did hit me up at one point and... Asked if I was a fan, and I was a huge fan. But you got to play it cool in these situations. You understand? Um, yeah, absolutely. So I just gave him a nod, and just told him, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a big, I'm a, I'm a fan of, uh, of everyone. I'm a fan of Rage Against the Machine. They were also playing. Yeah. Ratum, Ratum, very extreme. Good experiences. Really good experiences. Wow. There. So you didn't, you didn't let him know that they were. He was sitting like they were sitting in the top three. I mean, you, you got to play cool. You got to yeah. play cool, obviously. Yeah. But I. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, it was actually. Uh, it was interesting that big day out because I. It, I guess it led to me uh, realizing that uh, I wasn't destined to to be setting up for these for these guys. Yeah. I was destined to be sharing the stage. Brush I was destined at to that be, time. I wanted to play the big day out. 
Oh, yeah. I mean, aspirations of any um, of any of any musician. I actually played the big up. day out a couple of years later, which is not a big deal, really. Wow, you yeah. you played it at at the big day out. Of course I did. Of course Dude, I did. That's. I mean, talk to me about that. That's that's huge. Mm. Yeah. Like, what was that like? What was the what was the crowd reaction like? Well, it must have been going off. Uh, it's, it's strange to, to, to talk about crowd reaction when you do these gigs. We did uh, we performed in a silent disco. Which I mean, how many uh, how many hip hop acts can say that they did that? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You ever rocked a silent disco, mate? Um, I've attended. Um, attended, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever attended one, except for when I played at the big day out. It was big time. But, you know. We actually uh, played a few years after that as well. Had our own caravan. Had you, I'm sorry, what? Had yeah, you wrapped in the back of a caravan. Like at the big day again. out. Oh, at big day out again. Yeah. Wow, so like a, a repeat. That's, um... They got us back. Funnily enough, they got us back. Then, um, they didn't get us the following year. And then next thing you know... Big day out. Again. No disrespect, but they went down the gurgler, didn't they? You don't keep booking this. You don't you don't stay with the good thing. And you fall apart. But uh you know, no disrespect, they were doing their thing. Yeah. They did well to have us twice. Well. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure they've learned from their mistakes these days. Yeah. Um Yeah, I mean again, bringing it back to uh to the current music, so hectic life talk to me about that what what is what is your perspective on what is a hectic life just the everyday the everyday struggle i'm an everyman i mean yes yes i'm a superstar yes i'm a legend Mm. yes i've been around yep seen a lot of things been a lot of places but uh but living just the ordinary uh sort of life is hectic isn't it wouldn't you say yeah, yeah, at times. I mean, it depends, you know, living the rock star life that you do is, um, you know, it's kind of hard to compare to, a, to an everyday life. From the outside, I mean. I suppose. I mean, I'm sure you still do, I suppose. do everyday things, but. Um, yeah. I like to make the, uh, the everyday nor- normalities of life hectic in okay. their own way. Yeah. And you should too. Yeah. Well, I don't know. But, um, how, I'll just okay. let the song so speak for, for itself. For those I, watching at home, how would someone go about uh, hectifying their life. Wear sunglasses indoors. You could do that. Yep. Yep. Things like that. Some other things you could, you know, you could like drink Coke in the morning. It's not advisable. No, it's not healthy, but hectic. No. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty hectic. Me and, my, me and, my hectic life. and for some reason, I looked him dead in his eye and said, uh, I love you. He sort of looked at me a bit, a bit strange.